Hello, welcome to yet another video of Acharya Nidhan Academy. In this particular video, we are going to discuss the concept of Dosha Hetu, one of the classification of Hetu as mentioned by Madhukosha commentary Madhava Nidhana, 1st chapter 5th shloka. So, as such, the so far we have discussed where the Sanni Krishna Hetu, Vipra Krishna Hetu, Vibhichari Hetu and Pradhanika Hetu, four types of the Hetu as per Madhukosha commentary. Further, we have discussed Asatmya, Indriya, Artha, Sanyoga, Pradhnya, Parada and Parinama, three types of the Hetu and their applied aspects. Now, it is the time to discuss about the concept of another three types of the Hetu that is Dosha Hetu, Yadi Hetu and Upaya Hetu. Among that, the first classification is considered to be Dosha Hetu. So, we know that there are basically six stages of Kriyakala that is Sanchaya, Prakopa, Prasara, Sthana Samshaya, Vyakta and Bheda. This is according to Sushruta Samhita. Whereas according to Charaka Samhita, the, the variations, normal variations are being mentioned as Sanchaya, Prakopa and Prashama. Or other Vachaya, Prakopa, Prashama. So, the three types of the Hetu mentioned by Madhukosha are Dosha Hetu, Yadi Hetu and Ubaya Hetu. Wherein Dosha Hetu that has been mentioned by Madhukosha commentary that is Dosha Hetu Vo Yatha Chaya Prakopa Prashama Nimitta Yatha Rutu Uppanna Madhuradaya. In the sense, Dosha Hetu are those which are responsible for the variations being observed in different seasons into, along with the Chaya, Prakopa and Prashama that is the two Madhuradi Shadrasa. Its application, how to understand this? Regarding this, it has been mentioned that the relation between the Dosha and the Rasa they are being considered to be mentioned in Ashtanga Hridaya that is the Tatradya Martam Nantrayastikta Deya Kaham Kashayatikta Madhuraha Pittam Anyetu Kurvate So based on that the relation between the Dosha and the Rasa they are being mentioned there So Vata Dosha wherein the Dosha Hetu as such that can be Katu, Tikta and Kashaya Rasa they are going to get responsible for the increase of Vata Dosha in the body whereas Katu Amla and Lavana Rasa, they are going to be responsible for the abnormal increase of Pitta Dosha. Whereas Madhura, Amla and Lavana Rasa, they are going to be leading to the abnormal vitiation of Kapha Dosha. So in terms of the seasons, that what is being mentioned by the uh, earlier Madhukosha commentary, so that is Chaya Prakova Prashamaha. In the sense, these Shadrasa, they are going to be responsible for the Chaya, Prakopa and Prashama. So Chaya and Prakopa, they are usually the same Rasa, they are going to be responsible for the abnormal increase of Chaya as well as Prakopa. Wherein the Vata Dosha, the Chaya may be possible because of the Katu Rasa or um, Katu Tikta or Kashaya Rasa Seva. Whereas, Prakopa may also be happen may also happen by Katu, Tikta and Kashaya Rasa excessive intake. Whereas the Madhura Amland and Lavana Rasa they are going to mitigate Vata Dosha. Similarly, the Chaya and Prakopa of Pitta Dosha are possible because of excessive consumption of Katu, Amla and Lavana Rasa. Whereas Pacification of Pitta Dosha may happen because of the consumption of Kashaya, Tikta and Madhura Rasa. Similarly, the Kapha Dosha, Prakchaya as well as Prakopa. So that is accumulation as well as provocation of Kapha Dosha are possible by the excessive consumption of Madhura, Amla and Lavana Rasa substances. Whereas the a mitigation or a decrease of the vitiated Kapha Dosha is possible by the consumption of a Katu, Tikta and Kashaya Rasa substances. And regarding the application of these, when you think about it, so that is 
the dosha hetu or those hetu which will be responsible for the chaya as well as prakopa etc in the element in the body whereas the dosha hetu effect can be observed from the first stage of kriya kala itself in the sense so here there are six uh, rasa are being mentioned madhura rasa amla rasa labana rasa katu rasa tikta rasa and kashaya rasa when you think about it so the sub consumption of these madhura rasa substances how that may be responsible for the uh, dosha vitiation as such when you think about it whenever the madhura rasa substances are being taken they will be remaining in the stomach for a period of almost 2 hours when this is uh, accumulated in the stomach for almost 2 hours so they are actually responsible for the increase of microorganisms in the stomach thereby there may be a possibility of what you say that the infective process to happen in the stomach region right that is what that's how the person may have the inflammatory reaction thereby this is responsible for the inflammatory markers to get increased in the stomach which is in turn responsible for the movement of the fluid from the capillaries of the stomach into the stomach lumen now coming to the amla rasa how amla rasa may be responsible for the increase of uh, what do you say that the uh, what do you say that the dosha in the stomach region the amla rasa they are actually responsible for the increase of what uh, is acidity hyperacidity syndrome when there is increase of hyperacidity syndrome that is actually responsible for the increase in inflammation to happen in the stomach wall when there is increase in inflammation is happening so naturally so that is responsible for the inflammatory markers to be generated in the stomach region thereby excessive movement of fluids will be happening from the stomach capillaries into the gastric lumen regarding the lavana rasa how this lavana rasa may be responsible for the increase of the sorry the increase of the inflammatory reaction that is going to take place naturally the lavana rasa that is actually responsible for the what you say that the inflammation to happen as it is responsible for the uh, what you say that the or do you say that increase of pitta dosha in the body in the sense so here that is actually responsible for increased salty content in the stomach wall when there is increased salty content in the sense that will be responsible for the oncotic pressure to get increased in the gastric lumen when there is increased the gas oncotic pressure naturally so that will be responsible for the movement of the fluid from the stomach wall in from the capillaries of the stomach wall into the gastric lumen so wherein the katturasa substances so that may be responsible for the inflammation to happen so naturally when there is inflammation is happening inflammatory markers are going to get produced in the stomach wall that means from the capillaries of the stomach the fluid will be entering from the capillary to interstitials that is the gastric lumen thereby the person may have the accumulation of this particular dosha to happen in the stomach wall whereas the tikta rasa how that is responsible for the uh, abnormal secretions to happen in the uh, alimentary canal when there is tikta rasa substances are being taken in excess so that is actually reducing the secretions from the alimentary canal when there is reduced secretion happening in the alimentary canal naturally so that is actually responsible for the poor absorption in that way when there is no when there is poor absorption in the sense naturally intestine motility is going to get reduced one thing and the peristaltic movements are going to get reduced that's how there will be poor absorption that is going to take place when there is a rest, poor intestinal motility naturally so that will be responsible for the vata dosha prakopa happening in the elementary canal itself 
regarding the kashaya rasa substances how that is responsible for the dosha vitiation in the in the body so kashaya rasa substances naturally they are considered to be again responsible for the increased rukshata to happen in the body when there is increased rukshata naturally the intestinal motility is going to get reduced when the intestinal motility is going to get reduced naturally the secretions are already uh, because of the kashaya rasatva secretions are reduced as well as the intestinal motility is going to be reduced thereby increased vata dosha is going to happen in the alimentary canal likewise the consumption of the any of the 1 2 or 3 4 5 or all six rasas in excess may lead to the abnormal dosha increase to happen in the alimentary canal that's how the impact of the individual rasa can happen in the alimentary canal so the take home messages from today's discussion are dosha hetu are those which are leading to the vitiation of the dosha but the vyadhi manifestation may or may not occur whereas dosha hetu is responsible for the sanchaya avastha of the dosha whereas each and every dosha that may lead to the sanchaya of the dosha depending upon the quality as well as quantity of the dosha vitiation that's all for today so dear ana members what are the major key takeaways from today's session mentioned in the comment box below if you are get what would you like to have the discussion in the coming sessions mention in the comment box if you are truly liking this particular video then spread this video to the maximum number of true ayurveda learners that's all for today thank you